What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is Jordan from Modern Day Muscle. Just want to take a moment to thank everybody that subscribed and that continues to watch my videos, like my videos, and share my videos. I truly appreciate that. If this is your first time seeing my video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell notification icon. You don't want to miss any of this good content that's coming out. Um, but in this video, I'm going to be uh, mirror tapping my, uh, my uh, rear mirror so that um my max escort 360 will uh sit flush i got the uh, blend mount as well so we're gonna go through that i watched this youtuber um green hornet the green hornet i believe i'll put his um name on the screen but um he had a good video on how you take the housing off of the mirror and then uh, which wire to use to make sure you know the radar is powered correctly and stuff like that but um yeah so we're gonna get into it. Um, hopefully you guys can see, but uh, you need a flathead of some sort. There's a seam that's uh, right there. Hopefully you guys can see that. There's a seam right there, and then there's a, the same exact seam on the other side. And basically, you kinda like, let me this in here. Um, and he also said to, you know don't be afraid you're not gonna break it but you know don't apply too much pressure as well What I did was actually take the whole mirror off of its mount, which um, I don't see that as being as a problem either, but that's not what you're supposed to do. But um, that's cool. So for anybody that feels like, you know, oh, the glue would come off and stuff like that, it's really just a mount. So this part right here would just go back on this part right here. So yeah, um, I'm gonna put the camera down and just continue to work. So uh, yeah, just bear with me. Good point in the video to say, if you don't know something, ask. Um, I got off the phone with Paul because I was trying to figure out what happened. Oh, I was trying to figure out what happened here. And basically, when I was pulling this off, I pulled off the whole thing as you've seen in the video. But this is able to go back on. I just got to put it on left and then twist it right and it'll pop back on. So I think for now I'm going to work with it like this because it's actually easier to get to the back and then I'm and then you're going to see me twist it back on. But yeah, um, I couldn't figure it out because at first I was like, dang, because I, I knew it wasn't broken. It just looked like I, I pulled it off. Paul ended up knowing how it works. So shout out to Paul. Appreciate it. Go follow his channel, Garage Driven. But yeah, let's get back to this video. The next part of this is you need to figure out um, which one of these you need for um, your power mirror. I have a Challenger, so um, based off of what I've seen on the internet, I'm going to be using the smallest ones. So it's probably going to be um, this one and probably that one over here. So these two right here. All right, guys, I don't know how well you can see this, but um, there's two different holes. And I'm just going to explain it because I know it's very hard to see. But basically, you have a pink and blue wire and uh, you're going to have to look you're going to have to look pretty um, hard because uh one is pink and another color and the other one has pink with like a darker blue the pink and darker blue is for your red tap and then your black tap just goes um into where the black wire is going into but you just want to make sure that you're using the smallest ones for you know a 2017 challenger um i think it's the same way for the 2018s as well but um yeah after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect the actual wire and I'm gonna do a test, a test turn on to see if the radar turns on before I hook everything back up. All right, guys, the next um, step is the blend mount. Um, I looked all over YouTube and I saw that this mount is the best for this type of radar. Um, I hear it's hard to remove the radar from the mount, but um, from what I saw though, the reason why it's hard is because they make it difficult for someone to steal the radar, so I get it. So I guess it requires some form of dexterity to get used to this. But um, this is this part right here goes on the neck part of the uh, 
the uh, the mirror, and um, then I'll have an Allen wrench too to tighten it to how I want to angle it, stuff like that. I kind of want to have it, you know, underneath. Um, we got it on. Um, it looks way better than what I used to have. I used to have a wire going up the side, and it looked kind of um, just messy. But uh, this is the finished look right here, guys. As you can see, it gives off sort of like a wireless, you know, fit. Um, I use this Allen wrench right here to basically screw in the position that and I want it put it in so it doesn't move, you know. Um, then I also reposition my mirror as well. I gotta clean it off, it's a little bit dirty. But um, yeah, basically, you know, long story short, because I know it was kind of uh, crazy what I was doing. You just pop off these two pieces back here. And then um, I ended up pulling it down, which was actually a mistake, the mirror itself, but it's basically a left to right twist. So, so it's a right to left twist to take it off and then it's a left to right twist to put it back on. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say do that. I'm not gonna recommend do that. It's whatever works for you. For me, it worked better with the mirror being completely off so I could get behind there and see. And then once you see you're looking for a red and blue, well, a pink and blue cord, that's where your red tap is gonna go. And then the black cord, that's where your black tap is gonna go. It looks like they go in the same hole, but, but they don't. They're just side, side by side next to each other. So when, once you get that in, then you know you put the, the second piece you, you took off is the first piece that goes back on. And then that top piece goes on last. And then that's when you start positioning the blend mount on where you want it to be. And then um, you're done, guys. Um, I'll put a link in the description for the blend mount and the mirror tab where you can get the mirror tab. This is uh, this works on 2017, 2018 um, challengers. I'm not really sure about the 2019s, but I think I think they would work too because I don't think they changed anything about the mirror. But um, yeah, it was a fun install. Um, it was challenging because I you know I got big hands, so things were getting a little hard to put it in but honestly the install was, wasn't bad it was more of me trying to figure out like where things go and stuff like that also too you want the smallest wire bits that go on the mirror top for these cars make, make sure you remember that so you're not you know trying multiple ones but um like i said this video is done my name is jordan this is modern day muscle if this is your first time to the channel please subscribe also hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any more good content i'm on ig um it's gonna pop on the left or the right hand side of the screen guys and guys once again um thank you for supporting me and liking my videos watching my videos and subscribing i really appreciate that i'll catch you in the next video